Hey everyone, just wanted to show you guys really quick how to set up the proxy helper extension on Google Chrome. So let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome. Assuming that you've already authenticated your IP address for your proxies, let's go ahead and conduct a Google search and we're going to look up proxy helper. We're going to click on the first link and we're going to add this extension to Chrome. Yes, add extension. Once added, you'll see this exact same screen. I've already gone ahead and taken the liberty of creating two separate IP proxies, or proxies IPs, if you will. On the left-hand side of the colon, you will have the IP address. So we're going to copy and paste this into the IP rows on the left-hand side of your screen. On the right-hand side, you'll see the ports. We're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. On the right hand side of the colon, you're going to see the port number. We're going to copy and paste these port numbers onto these rows. Assuming that you've already authenticated your IP address, we're going to hit HTTP proxy and we're going to conduct a Google search. Or just go to google.com. We can even do a what's my IP. And you'll see that the proxy IP address is 173 and so on and so forth. If we were to turn off the proxy by selecting system and I were to refresh the page, see my IP address changes. So the proxy is in fact doing its thing. However, you can only set up one proxy per Chrome window. So in order to add a second Chrome window, we're going to select on our profile, we're going to select manage people, and we're going to add a person. I personally do not like desktop shortcuts so we're going to deselect that and we're going to hit add. Once this screen pops up again we're going to conduct a simple Google search of proxy helper same process first link add to Chrome add extension. We're back on this screen so I'm going to pull up my second IP address that I've generated from the lace network proxies copy and paste. Now I need to get the port number. Same thing, copy and paste. Let's turn this bad boy on and we'll go to Nike.com. And there you have it works like a charm. If you have any questions, go ahead and open a ticket or post in the Q&A and one of us will be more than happy to walk you through and help you guys out. Thank y'all.